Is this the ultimate VFR shortcut in New York? Eight four uniform request, transition over the field 1500 towards the statue and then Hudson River northbound. Transfer you over to LaGuardia for the 12th next transition. Our final destination will be Farmingdale. New York is one of the most complex areas to fly in the world, with no less than three class Bravo airspaces converging into each other. This means hundreds of commercial and business jets flying in and out of four major airports at any given time. A4 uniform traffic to heavy 767 on a five mile final descending out of 1,800. As a result, VFR aircraft are left with limited options to traverse the area, either extending their route to go around it or having to stay under it, which can mean flying uncomfortably low and below heavier aircraft. Remember A4 uniform, heavy okay. just pass through and caution for their wake especially. Today, I'm flying from my home airport in Somerset, New Jersey to Farmingdale, New York. But instead of taking the long way, I'll try a unique shortcut, leveraging a special VFR route that isn't often used by fixed-wing aircraft. Need for a uniform to send to 1,500 direct New York over the four numbers. Okay, so this will be a step-by-step -step walkthrough of this unique flight. I took off from Somerset and climbed to 2,000 feet heading east towards Newark Liberty International Airport. While remaining clear of their Bravo airspace, I called Newark Tower with my request. Grumman 9984 Uniform, Newark Tower. 84 Uniform, currently 15 miles west of the field. Would like to request a transition over the field 1500 towards the statue and then Hudson River northbound. Transfer you over to LaGuardia for the Trox Neck transition. Our final destination will be Farmingdale. Foxtrot Romeo Golf. Fox is 0312. 0312 Okay, so let's break down the request and my intended route. First, instead of avoiding Newark's Class B airspace, I wanted to cross directly over the field eastbound towards Manhattan. I requested 1500 feet because I know that altitude keeps me clear of arrivals and departures perpendicular to my route. Next, I requested going straight to the Statue of Liberty, which is an easy visual checkpoint and a gateway to the Skyline route. A VFR route inside the Class Bravo that keeps you above the Hudson River Special Flight Rules Area, which is a low altitude corridor with its own CTAF. When northbound, New York Tower will switch you over to LaGuardia Tower, and from there, I will request the Trox Neck Transition, a less known VFR route that takes you over Central Park, the north tip of Roosevelt Island, and the south stanchion of the Trox Neck Bridge, east of LaGuardia. Grumman E4 Uniform Radar Contact 12 West 2000, descend to 1500, direct Newark over the four numbers, altimeter 3010. 3010, dot of 1500, cleared into the Bravo over the four numbers, 8.0 from. All right, we are descending to 1500 now, and they told us to cross over the field, over the four numbers, and that's, that's because they are using runway four right for landing and four left for takeoffs. Getting to fly right over one of the busiest airports in the Northeast is never a dual moment. Always a unique view. Just passed over New York. We're now heading to the statue, which is directly in front of us. Currently overflying the uh, port at uh, New York, which is huge, by the way. We're still inside the Bravo. We will be for the entirety of this flight, almost all the way to uh, Farmingdale. This is not an area that you would be able to fly outside of the class Bravo. From Newark, I flew straight to the Statue of Liberty and then turned north to join the Skyline route over the Hudson. This corridor is always busy and you can expect increasing traffic calls from ATC. Keeping an eye on traffic here. Bunch of helicopters, there's one above me. Traffic, 12 o'clock, high, less than one mile. Yeah, that's that's the traffic calls from the GPS. And not only that, you're near lots of obstacles, so the uh, GPS doesn't understand. The plane is flying below some of the buildings, as you can see right here to my right, and uh, with a bunch of traffic around. Grumman E4 uniform, traffic a mile north of the Lincoln Tunnel, southbound, the helicopter gonna start their descent out of 1,500. Contact the Guardia 12605. We see the helicopter and maintain visual over to LaGuardia 12605. Thanks, 85 from. LaGuardia Tower, good morning, Grumman 9984, uniform 1500 northbound over the Hudson, requesting the Trox Neck transition eastbound. Our destination is Farmingdale. Grumman 9984, uniform LaGuardia, good morning. Uh, see the uh, northbound and Central Park, uh, north tip, overhead tire cabs, then south stanchion, 1500. Ultimate 3009. All right, so we have uh, we are being Central Park here. I have LaGuardia in sight. I can see them. They told us they told me to fly directly over the tower, and then we'll proceed. LaGuardia, the force is with you on a Bravo. 
Ten point two, Bravo approved. Two point three zero zero nine. The Trucks Next transition. Well, the name comes from the Trucks Next bridge. You're supposed to remain south of both bridges, which I can see here in the distance. Main for you to find. Need you a little further south than that. Uh, we're going for the south. It's fine. Com three, traffic eleven o'clock, three miles southbound. Out to the case nine hundred. Type unknown. Com three, got them in sight. Just up. Come in for uniform traffic, just a part of runway 31, climbing out of 700 in Airbus, crossing white turbulence. Uh, inside, one main thing, right fine, sir. For uniform proof. The tower kept me just south of the airport for traffic, and I flew right over Astoria, where I lived for five years in New York. Flying this close to LaGuardia, one of the busiest domestic airports in the United States, isn't something you do every day. Come in, A4, uniform, proceed towards the south tangent of the drugs. Uh, proceed uh, direct south bend. From LaGuardia, it's pretty much a straight line to the station while staying south of the bridges. Drummond 84 uniform, contact near approach 120.8, request iron course with them. 120.8, oh, fire from today. New York approach, good morning, Roman 9984 uniform, just east of LaGuardia, 1500 destination, Farmingdale. Roman 9984 uniform, Nick approach, welcome, watch that thousand, minutes 3006. 3006, ain't fine, from. It's Bruno. Hey. From that point, depending on traffic, approach will clear you direct to Farmingdale. For uniform, to proceed direct to Public Airport. Proceed direct Republic, ain't fine, from. Alright, so we are going direct Republic now. That was quite the shortcut. The next challenge is actually getting the traffic patterns in Farmingdale because it is a very, very busy day as usual. And I'm currently, well, technically inside the Bravo, the shelf here starts at 1500. Arrive. Right. For uniform, you have the field in sight at 12 o'clock at about 8 miles. Hey, affirmative, 8 fine, uniform. For uniform, thank you very much. You're out to the class Bravo airspace. Out to the your discretion for the airport. Radar service is awesome, mate. You're welcome, you far. Frequency change improves. See you around. Thank you very much for the help. I uh, have the field inside. We'll remain on this frequency, and then when we clear the Bravo, we'll switch over to tower. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Fine. You talk to them now if you'd like. Roger that. We'll switch now. Fine. Thank you. While the Skyline route is usually easy with fixed wing aircraft, the Troxnack transition is not often used by airplanes, and it's a great shortcut through the LaGuardia airspace if you're heading east or west. And it makes for some great views along the way. I landed at Republic Airport shortly after and took the same route later that day on my way home. If you fly around New York, I hope this video is useful and that it perhaps helps you shave some time off your next flight. Just be sure to be well versed on the airspaces and procedures. You can find all the information you need on the FAA website, including online training courses for these routes. If you enjoyed watching, please consider subscribing to support this channel, where I share my journey as a pilot and aircraft owner. I look forward to sharing a new adventure with you soon. Until then, I hope you fly safe and that you make the most of your time in the skies. Take care.